Hello there, and welcome back to the neighborhood. Let's take a quick look at a small device, the Atom 3 by AudiDirect. Let's get into it. The Atom 3 is a tiny DAC amp from AudiDirect. Seriously, it's about the size of the distal phalanx on my pinky finger and weighs only 5 grams. Because of its size, I'd be lying if I said I'd never misplaced this thing or lost it. But on the positive side, its small size also makes it extremely portable and easy to carry around in one's pocket. The Atom 3 is a relatively simple device. It's a small metal rectangular box with a 3.5mm single ended output and a built-in male Type-C USB connection. By the way, they also make a version of the Atom 3 with a lightning connection for those that are Apple users. Even so, there is no volume rocker or independent volume here, and one is limited to digital volume with the Atom 3, which is kind of a nuisance from the perspective of this reviewer. On the other hand, it was nice that the Atom 3 could be used with an inline microphone to take phone calls and talk on Discord and use with mobile devices. Under the hood, the Atom 3 uses an ESS 9280AC Pro chipset and decodes 32-bit 768kHz PCM and up to DSD-256. Output power is only 62 milliwatts at 32 ohms, so this will drive most IMs and some easier to drive headphones, but there's not enough juice to drive higher demand loads. For example, the 300 ohm Sennheiser 8XX was a bit too lean and brittle when driven by the Atom 3, but the 150 ohm Sennheiser 58X was driven sufficiently. I also tested planar magnetic headphones with the Atom 3, but planers like the Aeon Open X from Dan Clark Audio were a bit too demanding and its sound was again too lean for my liking. Easier to drive headphones like the Hyphen Mendeva Pro fare substantially better and are likely an example of the upper limits that one can expect to reach with this device. I never really reached any limits with IEMs though. Even more demanding planar magnetic IEMs like the Let Shore S12 or the Canaire Celeste Pandemon were driven sufficiently by the Atom 3. With that said, I've still heard of the Pandemon in particular sound better when driven off other devices. So I think the sound of the Atom 3 is pretty good for what it is. It's an extremely portable and downright tiny DAC amp. One shouldn't expect end game performance or even price leading performance from something this small because they're not going to get it here. What they will get is a pretty decent performer for the money, but as already indicated, it has limited power and also limited resolve. Clarity is good, but relatively just beyond average for the price. The fact is, DAC amps like the Hibby FC3 and even Bluetooth devices like the FIO BTR3K will outperform the resolution of the Atom 3. Timbre of the Atom 3 is also slightly warm, but not far off of neutral. For the sake of comparison, the Atom 3 colors the sound in a similar manner to a Cos headphone. While this was limiting with certain IEMs like the Pandemon, it was pleasing with something like the S12, which can get a bit bright on its own. In other words, the Atom 3 is a bit warm and fuzzy around the edges, but not overly colored either. Staging properties weren't particularly noteworthy for either positive or negative reasons, and technical performance I'd describe as just about average. Still, this is a pretty good device for one just to keep in their pocket, and a great option for an audiophile to use for as-needed situations, mostly considering the Atom 3's performance for its size. It may not be perfect, and it may have some limitations, but there's also a lot to love in this tiny little package. I've been taking this with me for on-the-go listening situations, in which I'm not really certain if I will have time to listen or not, and I haven't really regretted it yet. If I am sure I have time to listen, I might grab something else and make room for it. But for in a pinch listening, the Atom 3 surely does the trick. Thanks to Shenzhen Audio for sending the Audi Direct Atom 3 into the channel for review and supporting this channel. You can support this channel by making sure that you are subscribed, that you like this video, and that you're following the neighborhood at all its other access locations. Links will be provided in the description below for this purpose. You can also leave questions and feedback in the comment section below as I love to interact. Let me know what you're using for on-the-go listening yourself. And with that, I'm out for now.